So how long does it take to actually change your life with publishing? This is a question that I really want to answer because there's a lot to say. There's a lot to say and a lot of people ask like a similar question like how long does it take me to make my money back? How long does it take to make 2k a month? How long does it take? And it's like I I, I can't answer like that, you know, mm -hmm. but how long does it take to change your life? Because that's what it really comes down to. That's what I want to do for people with publishing. That's what I want them to achieve. So that's what I want to talk about. And I think the answer will definitely surprise you guys. Mm -hmm. I think it will. All right. Shall we sit down and talk about it? Let's yeah. do that. All right. Let us answer the question. How long does it take to actually change your life you might I'm not like change the, your life you might not like what we have to say on this topic with publishing because that's what it did for us so i can speak about how long it took for us mm -hmm. and the answer is at least at the very least one whole year yeah one whole year of grinding your fucking tits off mm -hmm. sacrificing Until your tits so literally much. detach from your body when that happens then you're grinding hard enough mm -hmm. and then sacrificing so much and we were saying this before, I think a lot of people don't really know what the sacrifice means. Working on your business in your spare time is not sacrifice. Mm -hmm. People act like that's sacrifice. Like, oh, just giving up Netflix is not sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I don't want to fucking act like I was the hardest working motherfucker. I gave up everything in my life for this shit. You know? <laughs> I don't want to act that? like that. I used to be a fan of and like think that the Gary, the Gary V mindset was the right way uh -huh. well, it was just grind 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 the like the hardest worker gets the best results i've learned that that's actually a complete lie and it's bullshit and it's not true at all and there's a way better way and the way better way is uh it, it all stems from here well I, I used to take pride in being the person like i got the success because i worked harder than you i worked harder than you i worked <laughs> harder than you i put in more hours i got up earlier than you i used to take pride and that's why which I'm is successful. which is true which is true it, but it is but that's what i used to take pride in uh -huh. now i don't take, take pride, pride in the opposite. That. now i take pride in i have a bigger business than you and i worked 10 times as not hard as you yeah you and know? yeah, and I uh, I had the most fun doing it uh -huh. by doing other shit in Bali, going mm -hmm. to waterfalls and just mm -hmm. eating food and having fun. Yeah. But that's honestly not at all what this video is about. So it takes one whole year, and the reason why, and could look the point we're at right now, like what I was saying, is that right now we're not grinding our fucking faces mm -hmm. off like that and hating every day like we're in the beginning. But because we're about to real soon. Going from zero, going from zero to something is by far the hardest part of the entire process. Yep. It's like a plane taking off the ground. Yeah. In the beginning it's is when it needs all the fuel, all the <laughs> And then it goes off. But yeah, when right. it's in and the air, it's just cruising. So much, uh, now I think you can talk, articulate it better than that. <laughs> it, I don't, I'm not a plane specialist, but I think it requires the most fuel to go from on the ground to one inch off the ground. Yeah. I think that requires I mean, the most fuel I'm just, than all the other inches. I'm, I'm just going off the sound of the engine. <laughs> yeah. Which is the... Uh, so it clearly requires the most... But it's the same thing in life and in there. business. Yeah. And with publishing. When you're in the air, so, you're cruising. You can just cruise. Mm -hmm. For real, we could, 2019, uh, work like an hour a week. Mm -hmm. We could if we want to. We would not grow very much. We would not make a lot more money. We would not reach work towards our goals. But we could. Once again, that's without not our money depleting. Once again, that's not the point of this video. Fuck, sorry. Oh, but, but the reason we are making this video is because we have so many people. Like when they just discover us, or they just discover publishing, they just discover online business. People are always asking questions like, "How fast until I can make 10k a month?" Like, bro, 10 and it, and the, what they want is three months from now. They that's want to make 10k. In three months, I can be making 10k passive a month. Do you understand that ten thousand dollars a month is going to change your life? Mm -hmm. You cannot change your life in three months, especially when you're asking a question like that. You know they're not the type that's just going to put their head down and sacrifice everything in their life because they just want it fast and they want it now yeah. and they want they want to put in not a lot of money, a lot, a lot of time. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. as I was saying before, to go from zero to a thousand, with zero to something, I'll say a thousand uh -huh. is by far the hardest part when it comes to entrepreneurship. And I just want to say. It took us about one year to change our life. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, when I say change your life, I mean you go from having a life where you're working a job for us to we're going to college to a life where you can.
fucking travel and do whatever you want. Like when we moved That's to Thailand, life changing. That's life changing. When we moved to Thailand, that was yeah. our first move. When we moved to Thailand, so if you can make enough money online to quit your job and then also mm-hmm. fun travels and a life doing really cool shit. Mm-hmm. That to me, that's my definition of changing your life. Yeah. So that's that's all I can call it. So that's what I'll speak on is how long does it take to get to that point? At least one year of going hard as fuck. Yeah. And I would quickly want to talk about like the the journey from zero to become successful with publishing, mm-hmm. and why most people do not become successful with publishing. Publishing is the easiest, simplest, best for beginners. All these things, high success rate, but the people who are failing at publishing will fail or already have failed at every single other business opportunity they've ever attempted. There are these people, it might be you watching this video, you might be the person who, you like, I've tried Amazon FBA, I've tried to have a drop shipping store, I've tried publishing, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried making YouTube videos, I've tried affiliate marketing, a million things, and like, but none of it fucking works. None of it works, I can't none get it to works. work. Okay, it's all a scam. These people making money online, living these lives, it's not real, it's fake. No, it's not fake. You are the problem, and it's because you aren't putting in what it takes. It's not because you aren't working hard enough. It isn't necessarily not working hard enough, not putting in enough hours. That's not a difference maker. Mm-hmm. Like anybody can work a lot of hours. It's these other intangibles that come into play. For example, being afraid to invest money. That's a huge one. That is a massive one. Like in publishing, you gotta invest a few racks, bro. Mm-hmm. Invest a few racks. Other things is when like roadblocks come up, when problems come up. So many people instantly like, oh, I don't know how to handle it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You fucking find a solution to everything and then you just keep on going. It's like some people can't just stay focused on one thing and then just go, go, go and not let shit stop them. Like when there comes a roadblock, they make it stop them and then, okay, well, publishing wasn't for me. Let me try 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 drop shipping instead. Let me try this other one instead. Instead, see it as a speed bump. Do you have obstacles that will slow you down? Absolutely. All the time. Literally every day. Mm -hmm. Okay? But... Like for us, I know for a fact, anything I get into, I will be successful with. I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. Yeah. Like I know that. And it's just about, one, you need focus. Just staying on one thing. Stop having this, uh, what's it called? Golden shiny object syndrome. Always need to try the world's next greatest thing. Like when people come to you with business opportunities and you're in publishing, just be like, okay, cool. But I have no interest in it because publishing is my thing, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and just having that mindset of I ain't gonna let shit stop me. I ain't gonna let anything stop me. Let's say, oh, but I ran out of money. I don't have money. Don't let that stop you Watch either. Watch the interview we did with Suraj. Don't let that I, stop I've you I've heard so many people, that's like the most inspiring interview they ever heard, and I agree. Yeah. His story's insane. So, but, uh, wait, wait, a big argument, like, oh, okay, I have these other things, I'm not letting it stop me, but I ran out of money, so I have to stop. I can't do it. You don't have to stop, then write your own books. For, I'm just using publishing as an example. Write your own books. But then comes the, oh, I can't write my own books. It's just all in your fucking head. It's all this, it's excuses. It's reasons why you can't do this and that. Like, you have to, you have to overcome all those things. It's overcoming all these fucking things that will make you successful within 12 months. Mm-hmm. I, I want to get back on how long it Fuck. takes to change your life of publishing one whole year. So I'm let's just talk about us. Let's talk about us. Last thing, yes. Uh, I'm just passionate about actually helping people. And then it, it comes in the form of rants and like uh, what's always worked well with me is getting ranted on and getting shit on like mm-hmm. that. I don't work well with like, oh, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna do it. Just it doesn't tr- work. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for a lot of people. Like you need to be shit on and you need the truth and you need reality. Mm-hmm. So changing our life with publishing when we went from nothing to then we could travel when we moved to Thailand for the first time. That's when our life really changed from it, right? We started, I started August 2016, by the way. Yeah. So it's gonna take you at least one whole year. So for us, we were publishing and we sacrificed so much at, at that time. It didn't feel like so much, but now looking back, I had absolutely no social life at all. We did mm. not hang out with friends ever. No. Ever. Nope. We did not go out to eat ever. We lived at home. We found the best like option for us, the best, the way that we could save the most money. And that was living, living at, at home. home as much as I hate living at home. Yeah. I did it, and then we go to college classes. I was uh, working by job delivering Chinese food, mm-hmm. and then working as much as I can and just putting all of that money back into publishing. Yeah, for real. So I sa- something I sacrificed and so- sacrificed now. You know what is a massive part of my life? You see this tattoo right here? This is a Brooklyn Nets tattoo. 
Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Nets was life. Me as well. From two, sports. From 2009 to 2000. We love baseball, love football. From 2009 yeah. to 2015, I watched, watched every single mm-hmm. Nets game. Like, yeah. shit, that shit was life. And I still fucking love it. Dude, I haven't watched a Nets game in I don't know how long. Yeah, I, I know. Th- massive Yankees fans, well, I haven't watched a Yankees game in I don't know how long. I just had to give that up. Yeah. And at first, that was really hard. I literally, was our- I literally did not want to live a life where I couldn't do it. I was like, fuck. No, yeah. then it's not worth it if we I can't. We talked about that. We're yeah. like, I would rather live a life with sports in my life than do this other stuff. Yeah. But then eventually, that changed. When we were at home in that phase, the phase of uh, getting off the ground, mm-hmm. that really requ- requires a lot. I'm telling you right now, the beginning is the hardest. Mm-hmm. Like, when you're at this point, when you have you have time and you do have money to play around with, everything is a lot easier. But in the beginning, it was a shitty life, but I enjoyed it because there was hope. There was hope and motivation. What are you doing? I'm doing some dual screen action. Oh, okay. Now this is playing well, skin Well, now it's taking away going. from the point that I'm saying. Let's just... Okay, go. Like we were living this shitty life back then. It looked shitty and it was shitty, but I enjoyed it because there was so much hope. Mm-hmm. There was so much hope and motivation. Mm-hmm. There was purpose. Yeah. Purpose, hope, and motivation. So that just made it like still a good time because we were working towards this thing. So this is the last point that I want to end on, mm-hmm. and that is to people that will hear us say you have to spend at least, at the very least, one whole year of working your fucking face off to make this work and to face change your off. life. If one whole year of sacrifice is not worth it for you, mm-hmm. then yeah, that's not. Then get the fuck out of here. Then you don't, then you deserve, don't deserve. You then don't you deserve, deserve to have your life changed if you can't sacrifice one whole year. Yeah. One I, whole year in the moment is a long time and it's hard, mm-hmm. but you have some fucking perspective of yeah. your whole life. Yeah. Then you deserve to be a civilian. You deserve to work a nine to five, work for someone else, always dream about living this different life because you won't actually do shit about it. So this is, could be a whole conversation about people who talk, people actually do shit about it. Yeah. There's a big group of talkers in the world. Yeah. So we have a roommate, Gavin, who we talk to about this kind of stuff. And when he looks at us, he's like, guys, you kind of have like the fastest success I've ever seen. You kind of like, a, like an instant success. And like, so that's really kind of the only perspective I have. But with him, he's 32 years old right now. That's not, because not until this year is he getting to a point where he's making really good money and he's finally living his fucking dream life. He's trying for eight now. years or eight something. Eight like. years, of, but he never fucking stopped. That's why I say at least one year. Mm-hmm. At the very least. It yeah, could take minimum. more. Mm-hmm. But that's again, e- even, let's say you're 24 and then you work your face until you're 30, that's still in the perspective of your whole life, not a long period of time. Hmm. Yeah. So, at least one whole year publishing books, investing everything that you're making back into more books, and I won't put a figure, a number figure on how much it is to change your life. Maybe you have your own number for that. Okay, fine, I will. I'll say what I think is life-changing. $5,000 a month. Yeah. I think that is a life-changing amount. You can literally come to Bali, live a fucking badass life in Bali. You can travel all around the world, really. Mm-hmm. Not, you know, at the snap of fingers whenever you want, mm-hmm. but um, you yeah. can do a lot. Plus, mm-hmm. uh, you guys know, I just want to quickly say, publishing is not the end goal. Then also use that money to Never. fund your next business, which is will then create so much more mm-hmm. um, money for you, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Link in the description for some publishing training. That's the end of this video. Magic emoji is the guitar. And that's this video. I want to enjoy. Drop comments down below. Let's get some more, some more engagement. Let's uh, let's talk. Let's do this thing. Hey, can I just end on this? Right, now you can do it. No. Okay.